and welcome to the 18th IGCC Maths Tutorial, and today we're going to be uh, continuing on. Now, um, although the next thing in the book is linear programming, I can't really do linear programming on this um, iPad, but I can tell you about it. Basically, you need to have an understanding of an equality. So page 1, pg.183. Um, got an example of a cat speaker, a cat bird, which is really not in the ladies. And basically, um, the linear programming is just a way of graphing these inequalities. So, you want, it's basically a way to find out a region, a way to satisfy three inequalities or more. So, here's the question. He has $15 available, and he decides to buy at least 30 tins altogether. So, he also decides that one third of the tins should be blaze. He should, he buys X tins of Bruno and Y tins of blaze. So we can create these as inequalities. Like, like, 40 X plus 60 Y must be less than this down or equal to one five zero zero. That's one inequality. Inequality number one. Then there's inequality number two, which is um X plus Y has to be Greater than or equal to 30. This is inequality number 2. Oopsie. And then for inequality number 3. We also have. At least one third blaze. So we need to know that 2y. Is it equal to x okay and with these inequalities we can just graph them and there should be a region because um we shade all the regions that we're not that we don't like and there should be an unshaded region and that's where um the it satisfy all the inequalities for example on this one it's when you've got 12 tons of bruno and 12 tons of blaze and 20 tons of bruno And then they point, all the points in that region satisfy the inequalities. And that's basically Algebra 2. It's not, not all that hard. Okay. We're now we're in Chapter 6. Which is one thing. Trigonometry. Also known as trig. This is where it, this is where it gets. Apart from major keys, which are even harder. So th let's start with right angle triangles. Everything in trigonometry stems from the right angle triangle, and we need to call each one. Um, we need to give each side a name in relation to an angle. We'll call it x or or theta. Now, in relation to x. This, so the longer side, is always the hypotenuse. It's called H. There's also the opposite, which is opposite to the angle, and the A, which is adjacent to the thing. Now, say this angle here, uh, X is equal to 40. And, yeah. So, uh, so say that O is a uh, 2, and this is 4. And it's clear that if we have a bigger one, like, with, we still don't know the A, but if they're the same, enlargement to each other, the ratio O over H will be the same. Now, this basically stems to something we call Sokotoa. Sokotoa. 
Sokotoa. Now, it sounds like some name of some obscure volcano. The Sokotoa has just recently erupted. It sounds a bit like Krakatoa. But it actually tells us several things. It tells us the so part. It tells us that sign. Now, it's, it, it's spelt sin, but it's said sign because that's just an abbreviation. Sign x is equal to oops, over the hypotenuse. And yeah, and then there's ka, which you probably already guessed means, which means cos x equals a, a over h, and it's, and then toa. Is equal to tan x tangent of x equals o over h. Now, you just need to remember these and make sure to get them in the right order. Now, in this one, they can say you can remember it as silly old Harry Court as it courts a hearing trawling off in Afghanistan. Now, I don't know, I think it's a little bit harder to remember it in Sokoto, so I would stick to Sokoto, but you can do whatever works. Now, to find the length of a side, length of a side using sine, length of a side, and this one is going to be done in sine. Sine. That's how it's spelled sign. Not S I G N. So so we've got a triangle. This. We notice it's a right angle. And we've got this line. And we've got say this angle is twenty five point four. Nah, that's not a very nice angle. Let's say this angle is forty five. And this is 10 cm. And we want to find uh, this side marked x. So the first step is to enable them h, o, and a. h, o, and a. In fact, I should do it in different color. h, o, and a. I don't know if I've just made it easier, clear or less clear, but I'm sure you get the idea. So we label them, and then we know absolutely nothing about this one. So we can't use one that involves this high hypotenuse. And Sokotoa, which one doesn't have an H in it? Toa, so we need to use tan. So we know, we know something here. Do this in the sky. We know that tan, tan equals O over H. And since tan is of 45, because that's our X or theta value, is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite is X and the adjacent is 10. So then we know the answer to this one is going to be tan 45. 10, 10, 45 is equal to x. And on the calculator, 10 times 10, 45 comes out to 16. approximately 16.198. One six dot one nine eight. Now, almost all of these. Um, I don't know why I wrote that up there. Almost all of these.
Twitter, um, trigonometrical values are not very nice numbers. Except we have special angles, but um, you'll encounter those later. So um, let's do another length of the side. I'll just uh, do all of this. And this time we'll try doing with cos. Then we'll do one with 10. And if we have time, we'll see if we can do angles. Yeah, I think we'll have time. Okay. No, this is not length of Sid. I don't know, what is a Sid? Is it a person? Hi, I'm Sid! No. And then Sid might be 1.84 meters tall. But anyway, this is our uh, cause, and I hope I've got this right. So I draw a triangle um, in red. Sid's blood. Uh, no, not on Sid's blood. So, and this angle, um, on my arm, this is a right angle. Um, so this is A, and this angle here is 30. Okay. Um, so we can sort this out. So, um, we don't really need to label them now, so we just know that this, because we which we need to find one that doesn't involve the done this wrong again. That was a sin one. We need to find one that doesn't involve the opposite, because we don't know anything about the opposite. Now that's the uh the the st the car part. So we use cos. So you uh, say it's cos thirty is equal to a over h not the other way around h over x then you can do x cos 30 is equal to what the give me some black please X cos 30 is equal to 8. Is equal to 8. But wait, we have a problem. How can we solve X cos 30 is equal to 8? And, um, how do we solve a problem with like X cos 30 over 8? Um, I just have to remember how to do this. Oh, it's been ages since uh, it's been ages since I've done this. Okay, so um, what we need to do is we need to divide everything by cos thirty. So x is equal to eight over cos thirty. X is then equal to on the calculator. Fifty one point eight six three. The three DP. Okay, so we've done cause. Now we all we have to do now is do sin. And I don't think I don't think I'll end up making this video too long if I do angles, so we'll do that next time. Okay. And uh yeah. Okay, so this one is sine. So we've done it backwards, tangent. So we draw ourselves a triangle, and say we've got this one here is 30 again. Oh, and everything's in degrees, by the way, not radians. We don't really have to worry about radians yet. And, um, so what we do here? What we do? So we, we know that this, we're trying to figure out this, and we know this. And that's been to say this is 14. So we don't know anything about the... Which one do we not know anything about? The adjacent. We don't know anything about the opposite either, but we, that's what we're trying to find out, so we do need that. So we need to find what it doesn't have the adjacent in it, and that's sine. So. Um, haha, it's just a pun. So. <laughs> anyway, um, no pun intended. 
Anyway, um, so we do sine 30 equals O of H is equal to O over H. That's X over 14. So that tells us that 14 sine 30 is equal to X. That then tells us that X is equal to Inverse sign. Uh oh. Okay, um, I can see what's going wrong here. My calculator has been in radians mode this entire time because I'm using entirely radians and AS maths. So, um, all the methods correct. It's just that the answers is wrong. Oh, I can't believe that. Because 14 times 30. Yeah, 14 times 30 is meant 7. Oh, I just doing everything in radians because I got a value of negative and that shouldn't be right. So, x equals 7. And x equals to 7 because sine 30 equals 1 over 2, and that's a special angle. And we can uh, go over those a bit later. I can't believe I have my calculator in radians mode. Okay? So uh, I don't know, when I'm doing my, at my AS mass, I'll leave it on red degrees mode. And <laughs> well, um, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. But um, I guess we'll see you next time when we're doing angle or... um. Angles, basically. So I guess um, I'll see you then. See ya.